Okay, let's look at an example with uh, Venn diagrams where they just give you some descriptions and you have to kind of figure out what's going on. Here's a, a typical example where they'll tell you, for instance, uh, the number of things in the universe, let's just say, is uh, 95. Okay. Uh, the next thing they'll tell you would be something like maybe uh, the number of things in set A is, how about 40? I'm just making this up as we go. Um, how about the number of things in the intersection of A and B? That's going to be, let's say, 9. And then let's go with, some change it up a bit and give you the number of things in B complement is equal to, how about 50? Nice round number. Okay, with that information, we have enough now to solve for everything. So with all of these questions, you always start with a picture. Draw your Venn diagram. So you can visualize what's going on, so you can um, fill in the pieces that they give you and solve for the missing pieces. Okay, as with all Venn diagrams, we start with uh, the highest level of overlap. So we're going to start with A intersect B. That's pretty easy. They tell us that's 9. So we put that here. And then we know we're going to move out and try and figure out What's in, you know, this cookie with the bite taken out of it and this cookie with the bite taken out of it. Now they tell us A equals 40. So the entire circle of A is 40. But since there's 9 in here, we have to subtract that and say there's 31 left over. Sometimes they don't tell us A is 40. Sometimes they'll give us a, a different uh, description. And they'll tell us, you know, things that are only in A. They'll use that kind of language. Uh, the amount of things that are only in set A is 31, because this piece here, right, represents stuff that is only in A, because the 9 is the overlap, right? That's stuff that's in A and B, right? So it's in A, of course, but it's not only in A. It's in A and B. So anytime they talk about the number of things that are only in A or only in B, right, they only have this characteristic or they only have that characteristic, then that's going to be that, that cookie with a bite taken out of its shape. Depending on if they talked about A or B, it's going to be, you know, one or the other. Okay, now the next one. What's not in B? Well, B, right, is all of this, right? Here's B. So if you can visualize covering up this whole bit, everything that is not B has to add up to 50. So that means 31 plus some other amount, right? Because the only thing that's not in B at this point is everything out here, right, plus everything that's in here. So all of that has to add up to 50. And we already have 31 here, so this outside, right, the neither part has to be the other piece. And of course, 50 minus 31 leaves us with 19. So let me put in that. We now know that 19 is out here. Because 19 plus the uh, 31 has to add up to 50. Okay, so now we're left with the 95 piece. And we know that the 31, right, plus the 19, that's our 50, plus this 9 in the middle, we have 59, plus this unknown here, I don't even call it B this time, since we already have X up there. We know that's 95, so 95 minus 59, gives us 36. 
So now we have 36 here. So now whatever question they ask, we can answer. If they ask us for uh, the number of things in B, that is not 36. The number of things in B is everything in B, and the entire circle of B has this 36 plus that 9, which is 45. Uh, maybe they ask for the number of things in A or B, right? The union. So you would do 31 plus 9 plus 36. So that's 40, 76. Maybe they ask for everything that's not in A, right? A complement. Well, if you kind of cover up A, get rid of the 31 and the 9, because those are both in A, right? Then you add up the 36 and the 19, and that's 55. If I do my math right. Okay. So that's a typical example where they just describe things, and hopefully that'll help you with some of these Venn diagram questions.